The attention to detail and the craftsmanship quality on this 1931 Ford Model AA camp truck. So I love incredible. it. Incredible. I want one. Can we get one of these? This in the Wagoneer? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect for the Wagoneer. I need to know what the tongue weight is. Well, folks, we had a great day. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. It's been a great day. And you know what? We ended up in one of our favorite places that is more favorite -er than Walmart. And where is it? Was there a sign? Blue, stay. Might want to close that screen. I'm trying to find a sign, but I'm not seeing one. But anyways, you could tell. If you're an RVer, they can tell just by the building. They know where we are. Crack, good old Cracker Barrel. I don't know why. I feel like there should be a sign right there. Cracker Barrel. I'll put it in like this. Bing. Cracker Barrel. We're going to stay here tonight, and tomorrow we got a little treat. We're super excited, and it's kind of like one of those win in Rome. You kind of just like do what the Romans do right is that what you do that is the statement yes so tomorrow it's gonna be fun we are super right. stoked Elkhart, Indiana. You gotta do Elkhart things. Today we are going to the RV Hall of Fame and Museum and we're excited. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's so cool! Look at these sweet bunk beds. <laughs> it is so old school. What? Oh my God. So, in case you can't tell, we are about to enter the RV Hall of Fame Museum. And museum. Um, we are sitting in a 1977 Travco 32-foot motorhome. You can tell. Things, I things used to be classy love, back I in the day. I love this interior. That's amazing. This thing is really nice. It's like all original, it looks like. So cool. Okay, well, we're going to be basically touring a lot of RVs and we're excited to show you guys what this place has to offer. I just love the classic feel of Let's go everything. check it out. Let's go. The history. The history of motorhomes. And RVs. What? Look at this. Dang. What? A walk around bed? <laughs> a walk around bed? Ow. Watch your head, dear. How many people have done that? Ow. Probably just you. Probably. So nice. Old bathroom, bunch of dead flies in there. <laughs> manufactured homes it's basically saying that like what once attracted people to mobile homes like the mobility of it just became like a, a way of life a blanket of insulation installed in exterior wall panels assures the year-round comfort inside the home it also permits inexpensive installation and operation of a complete air conditioning system the factory applied plywood sheathing is the base for the finished surface material which is put on at the building site the homeowner may specify clever shingles, masonry, weatherboarding, or cedar shakes according to his own tastes and desires. All right, well, let's go into the exhibition room right here. 1913 Earl Travel Trailer is the oldest travel trailer in the world. Wow. Look at so, it. It's so cool. Simple, yet yeah. incredible. Oh my gosh, that is so neat. Got the tow rig over here. <laughs> Model T. So 
1916, a telescoping apartment, which is basically it looks like a Model T with a whole area that slides out. So you got a bed in here, and then on the sides, you got all your storage drawers on the sides here. This is like the first Overlander like ever made, like right here. All the airstream peeps. So there's so many interesting trailers. We're gonna try and show you guys as many as we can, but we might be here for a while. I'm really glad we came here. This is awesome. Yeah, I think being full timers, you have like another respect because I'm sitting here and I'm looking at all these trailers and I'm just like looking in and I'm like, oh, this would be cool. And especially because we have the Wagoneer, I'm like, oh, we could tow this behind the Wagoneer. And 100%. there's just so much craftsmanship and the quality that you could see in some of these older units in the class, it's and just you, so cool. And you can see the evolution of camping itself. It's so cool. I love it. This one is so cool. Yellowstone travel Two doors, trailer. Guys. Two doors. Two doors. Can go in this one. Yeah, go ahead, I'll follow you. What do you think? I think there's some fresh baked bread right here. Uh, nice. I mean, there's baked bread out like this. Fresh. It might be from the 50s. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at it. It's so, so cool. cool. This old fridge. It's not dramatic, but it's pretty sweet. Oh my gosh. Got a heater. It's kind of weird that there's that door right there. Is it? <laughs> Ventilation, man. I guess so. Sixty-six Mustang travel trailer. Holy moly! So sixties. Look at these curtains. Are these original? It's so cool. Oh my gosh. This one has a bathroom. We're starting to put bathrooms in. Small. But what is going on back here? So you got a bed back here. Is this like a bunkhouse? What? It's a bunk. It's a bunk up there. That's pretty cool. So cool. This is big too. Yeah, it's massive. Can we help? Can we get one of these? Ah, uh, this would be pretty cool. Oh, there's like a whole, there's probably like a whole staircase. What do you think? Can the Wagoneer tow one of these? I think this might be a little big for the Wagoneer. A little big for the Wagoneer? A little big. This thing would be perfect for the Wagoneer. I need to know what the tongue weight is, gross vehicle weight is. That thing is so cool. It is. Let's go. We're going to space. Nineteen seventy-four GMC motorhome. Oh my gosh! This thing is so cool. It even smells like the seventies. This thing Look is so sweet. Look at the flowers. <laughs> so cool. Painted desert interior trim. That's an upgrade. Big back window. It's nice. This is so cool. Should we go for a tour of this thing? This one's super 80s. I love it. Holy. 
Everything shiny. What? There's a washer and dryer in here? Just, it's just, you guys this can't tell, but it smells so much like leather in here. Look at washer Pure and dryer. Leather. Holy moly. You guys, you can do laundry in this one. This thing is massive. Let me check out the bathroom. All right, hold on. Let me close this door for you, dude. All right. Go ahead. Dang, throne on a raised floor. Look at that. This thing was like futuristic, I feel like, for its uh, age. It's completely restored. It's nice. What is it called? GM, it's just a GMC motorhome. Motor Look at this cockpit. You're all up high. Dang. It smells so much like leather. This is one of two custom all aluminum motorhomes. Star Streak. Wow. So cool. Cl class Cadillac Eldorado chassis. 1976 old tornado engine. So cool. The Cadillac Eldorado chassis? What? So these house cars are probably my favorite. It's normally like a Model T. And it's like they, add, they put a train car on it or, so, or something along those lines. But... I don't know. The craftsmanship is just top notch. Top notch. Look at this. So aesthetically, ours was pretty close, but we had a truck camper that we borrowed from a good friend for our trip to Baja. This one's a bit larger, but it's really nice. And I wish we had one this nice. So cool. That thing's massive. It's huge. Welcome home, darling. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Welcome to my mansion. I think this is like a 50 foot, uh, what is it called? I don't know. This thing is massive. 1954 Spartan mobile home. It is massive. It's really nice. It is actually really nice. It's huge. Nice big kitchen. Full size fridge. Little oven. Look, a mid bunk. All these cabinets and drawers. Back here is the bathroom, which is massive. Love it. And then the master bedroom back here. There's no bed. But, and then a door right there. You don't see that too often. A door on each side of the rig. So cool. So vintage. I love it. All right guys, so I just measured. The thing is only 20 feet long. So here's the plan. We take our frame, our motor, our transmission, our axles from the ram, put them underneath this bad boy, and then we flat tow the Wagoneer behind. What do you guys think? Who's in? Who would like to, would you guys be interested in that build? Yeah, yeah. Is that the highlight? That was so far great, of the guys. Midwest? That was great, that was so fun. That was such a good museum. It's so cool. My favorite was probably some of the, uh, what did they call them? Car homes. Um, some motor, of the classic car homes. What do they call it? I already forgot the name. Car homes. Car homes, sure. Uh, I really like the Tennessee Traveler, I believe is what it was called. But there, it's just so cool to see, see through the years, kind of the way the tour is set up, you see them change. And it was, Awesome. I just, I can't even, I'm just so excited. I'm sorry, I'm very distracted. I think these kids were trying to photobomb us and I kept uh, trying to like, photobombing us? Like put them out of the Got frame us. so that, you know, their faces wouldn't end up on the internet. It's okay. But kids will be kids. It is what it is. That was great. We highly recommend it. And I know we say it all the time. Also, very affordable $12, and we were there for probably an hour and a half. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Yeah. I, Loved it. I mean, I, I wasn't really sure what to expect. I knew they had some vintage models that you could go look inside and, and all that, but 
it was really cool it was a lot of fun and now definitely worth a stop now we're on the hunt for a vintage camper to pull behind the wagon here so we hope you enjoyed this video guys thanks for watching